Important note, this game is no longer being updated. No new endings or items will be added in the future. March 9th, 2022. I disagree. What the f... I've not even explored this. The idea of the chips item has never changed. This is very loud. Objective, you know what to do. Kind of. So I've been obsessed with trying to figure out what the orb does, but my interests have shifted. Now I want to start a fire. I want to be like that that girl. The, I'm going to start a fire to the house, I'm going to go outside and just watch it burn like that girl. The, the girl in the meme. The girl in the meme with the house fire. The house fire girl meme. I still say there's like some way to do something with the orb, but I'm just not smart enough to figure it out, so I'm just going to uh, leave it alone for a while. So what all can we burn? What happens if I put the soda on this and like turn that on? I'll try that first. Is this... Oh, oh, it's cooked. What happens if I drink it? I know I I was gonna like try to start a fire and stuff, but I want to see what happens if I just drink the... Okay, I guess nothing happens. Well, now I need another soda. I don't want to take one from the soda machine and use that to try to burn it because that feels unholy. So I'm gonna... I'm gonna go get one. Also, this spells out LOL. Is there some way I could like get that ice cream? Because what I'm noticing about this game is that not everything that you can get technically leads to an ending, but you can still get it. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just set, I was horribly irresponsible, I'm sorry. I'm gonna place this on there, I'm just gonna, like, let it go for a while and find out what happens. I kind of wish my real-life stovetops did that, like they made a ding sound whenever, oh, it's happening! Oh my gosh, that is the smoothest fire system I've ever seen. Like, not just like the way the fire looks, but the way the light spreads as well. Oh my gosh, this is horrible. I already feel guilty, but it's also so pretty, and I'm so proud of myself. Oh no, I should probably get out. If I look through the window, will I see Dad, like, roaming the, the building? Oh my gosh, that fire alarm is so bad. But I guess that's the point. Like, it's supposed to wake you up. Oh my gosh, I think I did it. Ending. House fire. Okay. But this whole episode is gonna be... You left the stove on for too long. That's something I would totally do in real life. But that's all the endings. Did I get all the endings now? Orange juice, then toothpaste. Okay. Oh, that's so cute. I don't know why that was so cute to me, but it was. Does the cashier do anything different when I unlock all the endings? That's pretty expensive for orange juice. Have a good day. I don't I don't know why orange juice would be that expensive unless it has eggs in it. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, also, I unlocked daytime, which is the thing. Like if I press M, I can switch it to daytime and it's entirely different. Um, and I, I just got that by uh, there's a giant noob guy here. I don't know why. Yeah, I, I bought a game pass that lets me do that. And I really like it. The music changes, as you can hear. You can hear birds singing. You can see things that you can't see before, like the Hell Valley sky trees up here from uh, Super Mario Galaxy, which did not make the cut that I noticed in the Super Mario movie. Although, if they, considering that they're Hell Valley sky trees, they were probably just in the background somewhere for people to discover. You need to press M again and just switch it back. That's just so satisfying to use for some reason. Yeah, How, what was everyone's opinion of the Super Mario Brothers movie? I call it the Super Mario Brothers movie because it wasn't really great, but it wasn't terrible either. It was, it just exists. And I feel like I, I, I compare it to the Sonic movies a lot because I love the Sonic movies and I thought those turned out great. The thing I notice is that the Sonic movies focused on writing good story and making a good story first and developing the characters first rather than trying to cram in as many references to the source material as they could, which is what Mario kind of did. Hello, dummy. You were quite busy, weren't you? Nonetheless, I see you've completed everything substantial in this game. Yeah, everything substantial. That gets back to what I was saying. Not everything you can get leads to an ending. Congratulations! Thank you! Can you tell me about your cheeseburger milk and your TV now? You've seen basically everything there is to see. I keep saying basically. I feel like there's more. I suppose you don't have anything else to do in this world. Aha! That is where you are wrong! I have so many ideas! <laughs> so I guess this is a goodbye- No, it's not! I'm gonna- I want- One of my ideas involves coming back here. Yes, I am. So stop talking over me. Yeah, I- I wanna come back here, cause I have another idea. I'm trying to look through... My... Bullet journal. Since you're the player... I'll keep that in mind. I have no clue what I said. Besides, you got what you came here for. I know, but I have ideas. I'm trying to find them. It would be so weird if, like, I can't find my notes that I for of ideas that I wanted to try. That would give me an existential crisis. <laughs> and it's happening. I'm flipping through every single page of my journal looking for my ideas. 
and it's like they've been erased from existence. This is so weird. I'm looking. I'm I'm looking so hard. I'm completely ignoring whatever's happening on the game right now. Was it even this journal that I wrote them in? Did I write them on something else? So that's my April sp Ah! Oh, I found it. Okay. Ring up item, then change the price. I did try that. How much of this have I tried? Bloxing I haven't tried Witch's Brew. I'm assuming it does the same thing. I want to place the orange juice on the stove. I want to place the Colgate on the stove. I want to... Uh, try to make the breakfast with soda instead of orange juice and find out what happens there. Um, I want to steal from the store when the cashier leaves. I've tried that. It, you succeed in stealing and nothing bad happens. I also want to know what happens if you eat the egg raw or if you can eat the cooked egg by itself. I want to try... I have ideas here, okay? I'm a very curious person. Oh, can you give me a button to push? Like, one that says play game or something like that? Because I really... Uh, okay, fine. Throw me out. Kick me out, almighty kicker. <laughs> I resent that. I'm going right back in. Um, but then I kind of want to... My headphones are so creaky. They need WD-40. I want to... What settings? What even is that? Tech speed normal, FOV, fake, a, a fake? Yeah, so I'm gonna try some of these ideas and that's, it's gonna be a very experiment to... I can't do anything. Oh, you came back. I did. Oh, oh, the di dialogue box is up there. How did you get here? I thought you weren't allowed to visit me. Well, you were wrong. Oh, you got here because of an error, right? I don't know. I just hit play, man. Yep. This room also acts as a debug room. If something really badly glitches out, you're sent here and I'm supposed to tell you what's causing the error. Is that true? Apparently it's something about information overload, blah, blah, blah. Honestly, I don't know why I was picked to be an error handler. I don't exactly know a lot about this kind of stuff. Yeah. For the meantime, I guess I could uh, send you back to the world. Don't worry, the world isn't that messed up. At least not yet. Oh. Yeah, I have the ability to teleport you out of my room. Except I can't do it to myself. Mm. The tragic, poetic fate of dummy. You have to know that the world is pretty bugged out. Some stuff won't work, like items and cash. Is this what happened to me before? <gasps> Oh my gosh, the orb. Is this what it is? What's up with that anyway? I know! Yeah, don't mess with anything that might cause more problems. Well, I did have a list of things to burn on the stovetop. If I find out that this is like, it's just teasing you with saying you completed the game and it turns out it's actually, there's a lot more to see. And that's just like part of the bizarre lore of the game. Oh, well played. Oh no, I don't think this is bugged. I think this is very intentional. Yeah, this there this is not this this is not an accident. Okay, but what do you do? Can I use it? Error cannot initiate shoplifting ending cashier missing error code. This is so intentional. I swear this is intentional. <sighs> you messed with something, didn't you? You know, I probably should have just kept you in here, but <laughs> you seemed rather trustworthy. But I guess not. I have a natural curiosity. Don't hold that against me. You have that orb? I didn't even know you could bring stuff in here. Well, me neither. It's kind of making me uncomfortable. It makes me uncomfortable too. What do we do with it? It has a strange aura, you know? Do you feel it as well? I feel an aura of like wondering what it does. I'm like Pippin with the Palantir. Oh my gosh. This, this is so well done. I'm sorry, but I have to teleport you back. Are, are you not going to be able to do it? Could you do me a favor though? Go to the nearest trash can and toss it. What if I don't? Why do you seem so hesitant? Because I don't know what it does and throwing it out might do more harm than good. I can't really, I don't think I, it's gonna let me do anything else unless I can go in here. Unless I could put it back. It's not letting me use it still. And I can't put it back. And I don't think I can leave. So I think my only option really is to just toss it. You're kicked from this experience. Err, players know cannot throw away item. Oh my gosh, this is getting so existential and I love it. Mmm, this is such a well done game. I am so proud of this, developer. Okay, let me play. Oh, I have the orb again. Oh no. Oh, I knew I should have been hesitant. Oh, this is, this is all kinds of wrong. Oh no, <laughs> I've done, this is wild. It's so cool. 
I love that. I love that, like, that idea of... Okay, can I... I can't switch it to daytime anymore. I love that idea of, like, tricking you into thinking that you've seen everything. And, like, who knows how many players have just assumed, oh, okay, I guess that's it, and they never came back. But this is a whole... Oh, my... Gosh. This is insane. How many players have gotten this? Can I actually fall off this? <gasps> oh, okay. I, I can fall off, but it'll just teleport me right back. I thought I would break everything. What have I done and what do I do to fix it? It's like that scene in Doctor Strange. This was a mistake. What do I do to fix this exactly? I can't even jump, so I wanted to do like parkour across. Oh, there's the milk and the cheeseburger. Oh no! The vending machine. I sent it back. Oh, that's the TV. Uh oh. Uh, 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 hello? This is the world, I guess? Kind of a shame that my first experience here is when the world is corrupted and looks like this. Yeah, that sucks. I'm so sorry. I Wait, I'm the cashier. Why am I the cashier? This is so confusing. My torso's disappearing. My arms are disappearing. My legs are disappearing. Mm. Life just sucks sometimes. Oh, that's me. You're wrong. What? what? Something tells me this orb isn't the cause of all this. Oh, we're doing that thing where we're talking to each other without looking at each other, like in the last Airbender movie. It felt like the world was getting weaker and weaker the longer the player stayed. I didn't notice that, but I guess I'm not an NPC. Well, I am now, kind of. Wait, am I? Uh, uh this is... <laughs> it was like the world is running- wait, I didn't catch that. I believe this orb took priority and stored the information inside it instead, just to keep the world from destroying itself. I believe your grammar should be better because the I should be capitalized. But now, it had enough. It was too much for it. It resulted in this corrupt world. How do we fix it? How do you just know that? Yeah, that's a good- how did you come to that conclusion? The orb, it seemed to have leaked a bit of its information into me. Mm okay. Yeah, we definitely have zero days without accidents now. We need to do something quick. We can't just throw it away. It's preventing me from doing that. Yeah, okay. What do we do? Where do we put it? How do we... I can zoom out now. I don't think the creator actually knew how to program a pathfinding AI. <laughs> so they just did this instead. Well, I didn't know. It's easy. It's very easy. It's easy, but there's one line of code that you need to have that a lot of tutorials don't teach you for some reason, and it is like the most important line. Objective, follow the road. Oh, we get to go on the road that I've wanted to explore the whole time. What could it be leading to? The Hell Valley Sky Trees? Herobrine, Slenderman? How a game about getting a snack at a late hour devolved into this mess? I've been talking about that since episode one, man. It's dumb. <laughs> this looks like an obby. Yeah, I need to jump. I need the ability to jump. There we go. I can now jump. I can! I can jump! And that's gonna... Oh, um, can I make this one? Yeah. Uh, oh my gosh. Usually I have mouse lock for stuff like that. I don't know why. I don't know why I've ever used mouse lock. There's a lot of, like, jumps in video games that aren't really hard. They just look hard, and they, it trips you up because of that. Oh, I, I cannot make this jump. Okay, I need to double jump. Hello? You're not going to tell me that I have to unlock more stuff and then do all this again, right? It's going to appear any second now, right? Maybe I need to, like, put the orb here? <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, no, so there's an orb and a cube. We need to put them together so that they can, like, raise a family whose sole purpose it is to keep the world intact. Did I call it? I have your partner. Oh no, here we go. It really is the last airbender now. I am the cube. You can call me Q for short. Okay. Your name is one syllable. We don't have to shorten it. <laughs> this place isn't exactly the best, is it? It's seen better days, I think. Basically, I roam around the universe and fix anomalies in these worlds. Okay. By universe and worlds, you mean games, right? Does Q, can Q come to my ghost hunt game and fix that? There's so many universes out there, I get lost sometimes. Can Q come to my ghost hunt game and fix all the bugs and stuff in it? However, I can feel a strange aura when the world when a world has an anomaly in them. Oh, mine must feel the strangest. I go in there, fix them, release a new version of the world. Done. Okay, cool. I noticed this world had been corrupted. I couldn't ignore it. Well, thank you. This world acts very strange. Can't even handle a player inside it without slowly breaking, and only held out for so long because of Orby here. Hello, Orby. 
had a partner once. I couldn't be everywhere at the same time. I needed a bit of help. I did. I literally call the <laughs> call. <laughs> Last time I saw Orby was when they wandered into a world to see what was up. I guess they ended up here. I didn't think much of it at the time because I thought uh, they were able to handle it. I guess this one's so broken it needs both of you. I couldn't find them. I forgot what world they went in. There were millions of other worlds. Ah, oh, this is so wild. It was only after Orby had enough and decided to <laughs> and decided breaking down that I noticed the bugs included. Okay, so there's some powerful thing that goes around fixing game. I mean, experience it. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny that they make fun of Roblox for changing it to experiences for something. This orb was your partner. Yeah, I called it. They wandered into this. I mean, I kind of called it. Wonder this world help maintain the bugs and glitches that would cause them in this world. And it's just. And it's just now that the orb couldn't handle it anymore and started spawning out all the information, or spewing out all the information it contained. Same thing, basically. Huh. I don't know about you, but that sounds kind of painful. I'm guessing you want them back then? Please, can we reunite these people? Oh my gosh, that's so beautiful. Well, isn't Orby the one keeping this world safe? What happens if they're gone? There has to be a replacement. I can fix the world best I can, but I can't actually fix the world's storage problem. Ah. However, this green fella might be able to do the trick. Green fella? Is that me? Wait, me? The replacement? Do I have to erase the data? I, I saw that button in the settings. Your NPC. You can store a bit of information, can't you? Oh, maybe not. No, I'm still feeling nauseous keeping all of this information, if you could believe. I don't know how many NPCs you've seen in your time, but I'm a bit different. I can't store as much as you think. Maybe you can store more than you think. But where else would we put all the information in? I don't know. Put it in the... Oh, man. So is this like a prequel or something? Like explaining how Dummy knows so much. Or the player. They told me something about this. That's me. <laughs> they were very vague about it, but I think this is what I have to do. Okay, I am very confused. I am- no words can describe. The player, I told you about this? How could they possibly have known? Because the player is also another game developer. They know about, like, storage and all that. Um, I'm not sure, but if it's coming from them, then maybe they- maybe I should take care of all this. They said I should be fine. Okay. I will never look at the dummy in my ghost hunt game the same way again. Aren't we practically the same? You can't possibly be able to handle all this, can you? So much story here. I appear to know more about the world than you, cashier. Wow, that's such an- <laughs> That could- That phrase could immediately be twisted into an insult. Some NPCs are made for different things. You're only just AI. I had the privilege to be able to know so much about this world. It was all just uh, so I could possibly help Neo1996. Could you say I hold a ton of information like Orby? If so, then look at me. I'm fine. Okay. I mean, you are the same color, so, uh, you know, that's how that works, obviously. You are directly just called me dumb. <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. So, dummy, is it? Are you sure you're able to do this? Orby will transfer its remaining information into you. Cool. After that, I'll fix up the world, restart, and hopefully you'll both be back to normal in one piece. Okay. This is wild. And hey... Orby and I will periodically visit. Oh, thank you. This is so cute. I can take some of your excess information and dump it somewhere else. Okay. You can put it in Ghost Hunt. Just so you won't be filled with it and destroy everything. Okay. Put it in Ghost Hunt's lighting service. That's where I store everything else that's not part of the game. <laughs> I'll make a folder for you. Okay. All right. Ready? Yeah, this will be interesting. Badge awarded. All of them award ending the finale. So there was another ending. So is this the last ending? What happens if I start again? I'm still curious it's because I know there that's probably all the endings, but like I said, there's things to discover that aren't endings. And I'm wondering what happens if I burn the orange juice, if I burn the toothpaste, if I uh, endorse model for the moment. Oh uh, yeah, uh, there's also a get a snack at 3 a.m. that I've not explained. Um, or not explored yet. I haven't explained it either, but I am also gonna do that. Also, there's get a stack of 4 a.m. Snack core, which I think is like a remake of this. It has a lot more stuff. I'll do a series on that too. You've unlocked the crop corrupt color palette in the settings. Oh my gosh. Nice. So I was missing two endings. Oh, so you're doing this again, are we? Oh, <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Come on, man. You got the actual final ending leave. 
There's still a part of me that doesn't believe it, but that adds up because in that like museum, <laughs> yeah, go ahead, kick me out, almighty kicker. Um, <laughs> you're, kicked, you're kicked from this experience. Remember when this was just about getting a stack at a late hour? Oh yeah, I do. So what happens if I go back? My curiosity is an endless well that will never be filled. But yeah, that adds up because in the museum, I was missing two things with uh, two endings that I had to unlock to see them. And now I've gotten those two endings. But um, I saw that like, hey, it's Q. Looks like your world is back to normal, right? I hope so. I hope you're doing well, dummy. Thank you. I couldn't stay for long, so hopefully things went well. I can't guarantee if things have been perfectly fixed, so you might not be in the right place, if you know what I mean. Okay. So yeah, congrats. The game is complete. Awesome. For real this time? Uh, have fun. Thank you, Q. Okay, I think things are pretty much normal. I'm not being given an objective, though. Ah, yeah. That's what I like to see. Get every available ending. So I think that's it. I think I've completely fixed it. And I or completely completed it. That is what completely means. So, yeah, maybe I'll make a separate episode dedicated to, like, trying to find all the stuff. But, like, there has to be a way to get ice cream, right? But I really want to know what happens if I, like, burn this. All my other ideas, um... I don't know, I could explore. Lot just tell me in the comments if you want to, me to make another video of exploring all the um, other ideas that I came up with. Because I know Snackcore, or I'm, I think Snackcore, I don't actually know. I think Snackcore just expands on this like a lot and adds like a, a whole like floating shelf above the other shelf with m like twice as many endings. Um, so yeah, what happens if I turn this on? Is it just gonna start another fire? It's probably just gonna start another fire and it's not gonna do anything really. But that'll be the finale, and I guess I'll revisit that like museum area and find out. Yeah, it's just starting a fire. I don't think it's gonna do any special kind of thing. I don't think it's gonna make any like special fire. What was your guys' favorite ending, by the way? I kind of like the simplicity of just getting the stack and going to bed. Making the breakfast was cool. I don't know what my favorite ending was though. So I'll leave that to you guys to uh, to decide. It's it a very interesting game. Um, let me know in the comments if you want to try like all my other crazy ideas here. Um, but I do plan on getting um, to get a snack at 3 a.m. and get a snack at 4 a.m. Snack Core, which, like I said, has like another shelf I think with a whole bunch of other endings as well. I'm not positive, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. But yeah, I'm gonna um, go to the museum real quick.